Hello, Skyhawks. This is your Vice Principal, Thomas Kearney, and today is Tuesday, May 25th, bringing to you our daily announcements. So a couple of things that I've covered multiple times, but yearbooks, pre-order them for this weird and crazy year. They are $30, you can pay cash, check, or credit, and you pre-order them in the main office. And I have seen the new copies. They, we have gotten a sample of them and they look great, guys. Like, they're some of the best middle school yearbooks that I have seen. Um, definitely something you wanna keep on your bookshelf. Also, if you are an eighth grader, we need to know what size shirt you wear for your eighth grade promotion tee. Please, please, please. Like we need to know like today, uh, what size shirt you wear. So fill out the form below in Canvas or in the email if you're watching this and make sure you tell us what size shirt you wear. It's free. We just need to know what you wear so we can get you that free shirt. Also, Anime Club was largely a success yesterday. Uh, there will be no Anime Club next Monday because it is Memorial Day and there is no school, but we will pick up the following Monday. So I can't wait to see you there. Monday's at 4.30. And for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, for today we are going to celebrate one of the um, both, both in, uh, recognized nationally and internationally figure skaters pretty much of all time, uh, Michelle Kwan. So Michelle Kwan was born in the US. Her parents immigrated here from Taiwan. Um, she, her parents really got her, their kids into uh, ice sports. Uh, she and her sister figure skating and her brother into hockey. And Michelle got so into it that she would spend two hours before school, 5 a.m. <laughs> figure skating, then go to school. And then when she's done, she'd go back to the rink and do it for another hour. Um, and the crazy part is her parents really didn't have much money. At one point, they actually had, they didn't have a couch, they had to sell it. Um, and they could not afford to put Michelle Kwan into ice sports or figure skating anymore. And because the people at the rink had recognized her talent, her skill, her drive, they actually sponsored her to continue taking lessons and coaching where she would eventually grow to be, again, one of the greatest figure skaters to have ever graced the planet. She's participated in uh, both national competitions, winning multiple um, contests and awards. Uh, she has won many international competitions. She's participated in the Olympics multiple times. Unfortunately, just due to some bad luck and circumstances, she did not take the gold. Um, but her lengthy career over ice. She is retired now. Uh, she's on the um, board of uh, the Special Olympics and she's really taking a pride and effort in making sure that that is offered for kids. Um, but her entire history proves that like, you don't need a wealthy background. You don't need lots of um, uh, everything to succeed. If you just have the drive and the willingness to continue to push yourself, you can obtain amazing goals. And she is unquestionably one of the greatest American athletes we have with just how physically trained and how experienced she is. <laughs> Not many people can do this. Okay, so we're going to talk about superhero fight. First, this match of Hulk versus Black Panther. And I know what you're thinking. It's the freaking Hulk. Well, the fact of the matter is it was a struggle. Who to put against the Hulk? Like they have to be somebody who stands a chance. And the reason why I picked Black Panther is because of that suit. So Hulk is just strong. He's just strong. He can't fly. He's not necessarily super fast. He can just strong and he can heal from almost anything. And the anger he gets, the stronger he gets. But Black Panther's suit, in addition to him having like, you know, moderate grade superpowers, not on Hulk level, obviously, is his suit absorbs kinetic energy, which is anything that hits something else. So he could potentially absorb Hulk's hit and throw it right back at him. The question is, what's going to give out more? Hulk <laughs> or Black Panther's suit? You tell me. And the other matchup that we have today is two World War II veterans. Captain America and Wonder Woman. Yes, both of these people fought Nazis and both of them were created way, way back in the 40s. 
Um, and we, you know, Captain America, he's not generally considered the most super of all heroes, uh, but he does have, you know, above average abilities. And um, the thing is, is he has a history of always triumphing over odds. Um, he can't compete on a general level against heroes like Thor and Hulk, and yet he still does. Part of that always being his leadership skills, his personality, his drive. Um, he's, he's somebody that just doesn't give up. Wonder Woman, obviously she has super strength. She's often borderline on the level of Superman. Uh, she comes with like the super strength, super speed, super flight. Um, she has an invisible jet, which I don't know why she needs that or how she'd find it, but she has that. Um, her uh, lasso, if she gets anybody, it, it immediately restrains them. They can't get out and they have to tell the truth about anything. And she can block almost anything with her arm pads and shields. Plus she's trained in sword combat as well. Who would win in these, this clash of <laughs> World War II veterans? You tell me. Fill out the form in the survey below, and I hope that you all have a great day.